This, we, we still have not yet as a people yes. develop markets yes. outside of their markets. Yes. So, I couldn't be here. Um, I think the earliest song that I would have known from you is the song that you mentioned earlier with yourself and Marcy Griffiths. Um, young, gifted, and black. Yeah. Okay. Um, grew up on that song there, and to to the point whereby, and and I, I never, I thought it was an original Jamaican song. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is funny because it's it's a Nina Simone cover. Yes. Um, and growing up, I actually thought Nina Simone was Jamaican. Ah. You know why? Because the song uh, "My Baby Don't Care" for me, it's a mash up and dance. Yeah. And my parents dancing yeah. in it, so I assumed it was yeah. a, it's it's a actually, it's song. A, it's actually a ska beat too. Yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. It sounded like it, so I assumed Nia Simone was 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 from Jamaica as a young child. Did it? Obviously, you grew up and you, and, you, and you learn different. So when the first time I heard Nina Simone's "Young Gifted and Black," it sounded very strange to me. Yeah. So it did sound strange because I was used to, you know, what I mean. But what you but, thought was the original? The, well, I thought it was the original. You know what I mean? But it suggests to me that um, the Black Power era, and you kind of alluded to this earlier, that the Black Power era was uh, a major um, influence, yes. inspiration. Could, could, you, could you speak to that at all? What I observe about Black Americans up to, up to, up to Trump, mm -hmm. much less now, mm -hmm. the fight is, is that they're always protesting mm -hmm. for a right, mm -hmm. fighting for a right. We don't have that in the rest of the mm -hmm. um, African diaspora. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know, we have workers strike mm -hmm. and professionals strike, mm -hmm. but we don't have a movement mm -hmm. that will fight, march, advocate for a certain right until it's given. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the Americans, African Americans, have this verve, mm -hmm. this ongoing move. I guess because um, they were, uh, I'd say, slavery work. They were more aware mm -hmm. of enslavement mm -hmm. and so-called abolition, mm -hmm. and so I was always aware of the fact that. They are always struggling to be seen, mm -hmm. to be heard, and to get and to be reckoned with, mm -hmm. to get things done. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I hope that some of what other writers and myself wrote about the, the Ill, 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 ills of society mm -hmm. would have brought more people into the mix. Mm -hmm. What it, it, it makes the people conscious and aware, mm -hmm. but they are not given to to be mobilized mm -hmm. and to move forward. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because Rastafari is, while it is highly recognized mm -hmm. and appreciated in Jamaica today mm -hmm. as the conscience of the society, the, 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 the push as an organ mm -hmm. to say, to, to lobby, mm -hmm. we don't have. Mm -hmm. And the black Americans have that. Mm -hmm. They're always lobbying somewhere for yes, something. Yeah, yeah. And I envy that mm -hmm. we are not like that in mm -hmm. Jamaica or in other areas of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. I guess because um, the American constitution is well recognized by Americans. Mm -hmm. And so the thing about the right for free speech mm -hmm. is very deeply embedded in the black American consciousness. Do you think it might have something to do with the fact that um, our brothers and sisters in America never had an illusion of independence because they would say we was independent in 1962, innit? Yeah. And so it, it, it gives the impression that, you know, we have some semblance of freedom. You know, oh, we, oh, we, we never really got independence. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. We just, we, they just, again, yeah. independence is something someone don't give you on a piece of paper. Yes, sir. So independence yes, sir. is something you fight and win. Mm -hmm. So we haven't, even touched upon that yeah, mm -hmm, in, mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the Caribbean Islands. Perfect, yeah. we, don't have, we don't have any leaders who represent that. Yes, yes. The yes. leaders still work for the IMF, mm -hmm. the World Bank, the yeah. multilaterals. Mm -hmm. And um, if you, and we have in Jamaica sacrificed all over what you would call patrimony mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to the 
multilateral institutions because when you're going to give your loan, yeah. which you have to use it how they specify, mm -hmm. but you have to put up a collateral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And if you don't pay this, so, so as a consequence, we have lost here Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We have lost the flour mill, mm -hmm. the beach, <laughs> name it. We have lost yeah. bauxite. Mm -hmm. We have lost banana. Name it. Everything that. Yeah. And so because mm -hmm. we send all our good things abroad, mm -hmm. Jamaica is a migrant society. We send our best brains abroad mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, if you won't pay your nurses, then England and America will we'll take, take them. them. Mm -hmm. So yes. the, 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 the band plays on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, slavery just changes a different face as it progresses down the line. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, you tell people that um, capitalism was a derivative of slavery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. America had to be great because if you're getting free labors from millions of people, mm -hmm. how, how, how come you're not going to be great? You'd have to pay salary, you'd have mm -hmm. to pay wages, you'd have to pay health benefits. Mm. So, so, you know, but it, we're, we're speaking about the song Young, Gifted and Black, and some, for some people, it might seem strange that um, a song written by Nina Simone, a woman living in a majority white country, where one could easily appreciate the need yeah. for the message Young, Gifted and Black, that that message could be so relevant in a country that is majority black. Yeah, why? So what, what is it about the lyrics to that particular song that yourself and, and Mama Master give has found so much relevancy for the people of Jamaica? This song was recorded by two other Jamaican artists, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't have to play the other eight tones, but Prince Buster had a version also. Okay. So we're I forgot to search the one there, because I haven't heard that so, one. So, um, <laughs> Harry Johnson, who Marcia knew. Yes. Harry J. Yes. Uh, she used to, he had a band called the Checkmates, that she was the front line mm -hmm. singer for. Mm -hmm. So, I met him through Marcia. Mm -hmm. And he came to where we were living one day in 1969. Mm -hmm. That time, you know, he people play was a big hit for me. Mm -hmm. And he invited me, said he wanted me to hear her with him. Mm -hmm. And um, I asked Marcy if she wanted to come, and she said, yeah, I went to Dynamic Sounds. Mm -hmm. Judy Mowat was there. Okay. Mary Swear, a guy from the group Jamaicans, yeah. was there. Mm -hmm. And so when I heard the rhythm, and I was just well, you see, Nina Simone. He's young, gifted and black. Up to now, at that time, I never heard a lot of the Nina Simone because mm -hmm. it wasn't getting a lot of plays through some other Jamaicans at this coin. Yeah. I recorded the song. I, I, I arranged it. Okay. But I was, he initially wanted me to sing on the song alone. Mm -hmm. But I've been inviting Marcy. I said, well, you could take a verse and I take a verse. Mm -hmm. And Naris, Julia, and us together would provide the vocal harmonies. Mm -hmm. And that is what happened. And, mm -hmm. um, I didn't, the, the lyrics weren't new to me because I was in the movement in my spirit yes. already. Yes. But to actually hear it enunciated mm -hmm. and, and given to us as in lyrics and melody. Mm -hmm. So I sung the song just to please Harry J. Okay. And never thought anything of it. So what, was it a big hit in Jamaica at the time? Not really. It, was, okay. it became a hit before here, before there. Right, right, right. And it came here and Trojan Records put it out. Okay. And they took it back because someone suggested that if it had orchestras, if it had strings, yes. it would reach a very wide audience. Yes, and yes, they yes. took it back, put the strings on, and re released it. And I, and I, yes, and like <laughs> I said, they, they, for me, what I learned most about the song, yes. to, to this day, well, it doesn't surprise me as much, but we were singing to largely white audiences yes, and we were yes, singing yes, young and yes. black yes, in the yes, era yes. of the skinheads. Yes. <laughs> so it, 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 it's just yes. phenomenal. I mean, yes. so sometimes, yeah, after, afterwards, um, political writers and, and, and students mm -hmm. create formats to write about the, 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 the philosophy of the music mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the social aspect, but not before. Mm -hmm. So they only analyze and write. No, right, right, right. So, so you, you, you didn't fully appreciate the impact of the song well, at the I'm, time? I mean, since we were here, we yes. were, Bianca and myself, we were walking on Portobello Road. And yes, yes, yes. Some, some, sometimes some of the um, people your age that I yes. run into, yes. Or meet up with, and they would. I, I have to say to her, I didn't realize that song had created that impact. Oh, yeah. In this country, yes, it, it, no, it was no. an anthem. It yeah. was, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm amazed that, yeah. uh, that 
how, uh, to, to, to this day, it, some people say it's the beginning of their black consciousness. Yes, 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 yes. That generation. Yes. So um, yes. it's heartening yes, yes, to yes. know that that could happen. And um, it's given me a new found self of mm. self respect and yeah, man. Brilliant, appreciation brilliant. for what I do. Yes, sir. You know, yes, and, sir. And, and, and as a Jamaican artist. Yes, sir. You know, now we give, we give facts to Like I said, I think it's my, my first consciousness of Bob Andy is that particular song. You know what I mean? So we just, we just give thanks. I could I could have the interview and not ask you what that should be. You know what I mean? Um, having said that, um, just just you as a writer, there's another song that that um, uh, that you wrote f- that Marcy Griffiths probably has the most popular version of the song, and that's keeping keep the fire burning. Yes. Yeah. Just just give an explanation as to what what that song was about. So feel the fire burning. Oh wait. Me out, but yeah. it's important to know that fire burning was also pulled and banned from the radio in Jamaica. I didn't know that because they, they were worried, Michael Manley's government specifically yeah. was worried that it would incite riots. All right, well, we, we, can, we, can, we can deal so with that. I just, no, I did not know that. Thank you for throwing that in. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know that um, Phil Fire Burning was, was, was banned. Yeah. But it's such a nice tool. I don't know about that tool there. It's such a nice tool. Go on. Sorry, sorry. Well, sorry. well uh, the song itself was being talked about in, I mean, I, I watch some television programs and the, 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 the religious people yes. were always talking about the songs. Like, why should a song like that be relevant in Jamaica today and yes. how prophetic it was. What, what year was this released? 72. So, 1972, yeah? Yes. Okay. And this is Hugh Sherman's government? No, this was Michael. Michael Mann's Mann's first government. Term first term. Yeah. Okay. So, so all on there. So the song was banned. Yes. This, this is Marcy Griffith's version of the song? No, my Your yes, version yes. of the song? Marcy did it years after. You said years after? Okay. She's brave. All right. So, so, um, so my wait. My version was a hit still, you know? No, yeah. And if you ban a song, yes. you draw more it attention. You draw more attention to it. To yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. So, this, 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 for, for the sake of the viewers, just recite some of the lyrics of the song. This, 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 this I was drawn into myself, observing all this time. Mm-hmm. From every angle, I could see my people were meeting hell. Mm-hmm. The brothers have turned to crime. Mm-hmm. So, they die from time to time. Mm-hmm. I'd like to ask you leaders mm-hmm. what you have in mind. Once it touch the leaders now. God. Yeah. So, you know, um, we went to do a, a small version of a show, uh, 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 an award show that we did where Michael Manley was out of the country. Yes. And when he came back, his wife, Beverly Manley, asked if, she, if we could do a mini version of the show. Okay. Because they heard how big it was. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it was the first time we had um, Jamaica Philharmonic Orchestra yes. stage arranged by Peter Ashburn yes. to do strings and the songs. Okay. And so we took a scaled down version of it to play for this, the, the elected officials at Jamaica House. Mm-hmm. And I refused to sing because I didn't know that we were going to be singing in a supper place where people were eating and drinking and chatting. So I said, no, I'm mm-hmm. not going to be singing. Yes, yes, yes. I was invited to a supper club. So <laughs> <not gonna sing. laughs> After the performances, um, they lined up the artist and Introduced Michael Manley to the okay. uh, coming down the line. Uh, so why? You don't have any money, you know, Mr. Manley is singing for much years and my mother don't live nowhere and uh. next artist said, Well, I want this and uh, so um he got down to me and the man said, Um, so Mr. Prime, this is the famously infamous Bob and him say, Oh, I know Bob's music. Uh-huh. So, so, what can I do for you? I said, You can't do nothing for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can give us, me and my colleagues are copyright law, so we can have access to international convention. But yeah. said, so you need to see, him say, him say, you're a serious man. I said, what will you be in serious times? Mm-hmm. Him say, you need to see me. Okay. So the secretary wrote me down and mm-hmm. I went to Jamaica House and saw him. And we, met, we sat and the first thing he asked me, he said, do you have certain, uh, certain mobilization skills? And mm-hmm. I said, why? Mm-hmm. He said, well, every time we call the artists and suggest anything to them about anything going forward, they say, make Bob and they do it. So I said, I don't have any idea why. But maybe they like my lifestyle or the things that I say. Mm-hmm. And we talked and talked, and he was asking me about the people who had released the record mm-hmm. and why. And I said, well, you know, I'm a songwriter. And see things. So there's a thing about Sam Cook being. A, um, interviewed by Dick Clark, mm-hmm. and he said, um, what, he said, well, if you observe people at their times of day, mm-hmm. you know what to write. Mm-hmm. And so in observation, in observing what is happening, I'm saying, 
And we couldn't get anywhere in this discussion. And he just said to me, well, you know who the biggest boy in Jamaica is? Mm. I said, well, trying to figure out who was the biggest boy in Jamaica. A guy in the prison called um, Kid Ralph. Mm -hmm. Big T guy who was always charged for not necessarily rape, but mm. things like that. And mm -hmm. when he saw I was struggling, he just got up and beat himself in the chest street and said, I'm the biggest boy in Jamaica. The people said so. Mm. Tell your friends that. Mm. So I walked out to Jamaica and said, I wonder what kind of intimidation I could have. Mm. I don't see why I could intimidate the Prime Minister of him. I would tell him, say, him is the biggest boy in Jamaica. I don't know, say, him is the leader. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's interesting to me that you, that you spoke earlier about having written a song uh, that was kind of inspired by Marco Manley. Yeah. And it was his government that banned, ended up banning your song. Yeah. A very interesting turn of events. Yeah. Well, well, we must have found out that um, um, it included him. Right. You understand? <laughs> so even with the inspiration. Yeah, we have to ask you leaders. Yes. What yes. you have in mind. You're yes. the leader. So yes. naturally, he, he had a question to answer. That's the, 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 the beautiful thing about this song, though, is that the, the lyrics are so pertinent. But you spoke earlier about being able to pen good lyrics and put good melody to it. And the melody is so mellow. Yeah, it, it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful melody. Yeah, yeah. It don't sound fiery at all. Yeah. But the lyrics are, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somewhere in the early days, that I'm about to say, oh man, this protest coming. I want to be melody. Yeah, man, it sounds like a love song to reggae. Yeah, so. my, 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 my. When I moved to music, it was inspired by black American music. Yes, yes. Went, that's what I went first. Yes, yes, yes. So when I changed my lyrical uh, concept, yes. the melodies were already there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. Um, so I, I, I see Bob Marley as a, as a militant yes. um, protest. Yes. I see myself as a more subtle. Yes, yes, yes. You know? Yes. But um, check it out. Uh, the last time I went for um, an award, mm -hmm. earlier on, say somebody said to me, the best two lines in any song, anywhere, at any time, was the rise in the price is to make more money from those that are plenty. Yes. And the trick of the trade yes. is to keep the empty bellies empty. You just check it out. That was the first time we talked about yeah, it. So, yeah. so I, 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 it, it is easy to come up with a political song. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and uh, enough people singing about, Darling, I love you. And I am something, yeah. Uh, 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 there's, there's a, a well-known Peter Tosh clip that comes to mind right now. <laughs> yeah, you know. So w w was the song ever unbanned? Was it, was it ever? Well, the, 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 the JBC was a government yeah. station. So. Yeah. What happened then? The people had already taken the song to heart yeah, by, yeah, by yeah. then, so it's been played on the radio now. Yeah. But at the time, they were just getting accustomed to writers criticizing them. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. that yes. for a while, okay. yeah. And funny enough, this is, this is also an era though in which the government had artists writing songs for them. Yeah. And, and Duns had people writing songs for them as well and all kind of different things. Um, so it, it was... Uh, I want to put it in perspective because you could lose your life yeah, at this time for writing a song that criticised the government. Oh, yeah. These people are losing their life for this. Um, Michael Smith yeah. um, comes to mind, the poet, yeah. Yeah, comes to mind. Yeah? It's, this is not a joke. Yeah? So I want to put that into context, the, um, the, 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 the idea behind you know, what you're talking about. Right? And, and, and if you're consistent with that kind of behavior, they'll watch you. Mm -hmm. They target you. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. But when I became chairman of the Cameron Copyright Organization mm -hmm. and uh, uh, they banned my music literally from the radio mm -hmm. because I was fighting this copyright thing. Yes. But the songs were already known from the dance hall so people knew it. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, as long as I was fighting the copyright fight there. Mm -hmm. lucky though. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's funny because there's a lot of talk right now in the, in the Jamaican music industry about the copy on the copyright issue. You know what I'm saying? I hear discussions about it all the time in the industry. Yeah. Um, from you know the people that are working in the industry right now, the artists, the managers, the producers that are still trying to organize the Jamaican music industry around the copyright issue. It's it's 
<laughs> Why? We, we, we need to learn the lessons that we history for people, you know what I mean? Because if we did, and listen to the, the voice of the elders more, some of the things that we're going through right about now, we just wouldn't be going through. It's just, it's just a reality, you know what I mean? It's so difficult, it's so difficult for, for successive generations. Mm. So, it's, it's important that the elders pass on the message. Yes. But then they are bombarded with so many other messages. Yes, yeah. And, 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 and as time progresses, yes. it doesn't look very good for black people. Yes, yes, yes. Because, I mean, they have totally recolonized Africa. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, when I'm the amount of American bases mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. Military bases. So you can't fight mm -hmm. them because they, want, and they train your soldiers, mm -hmm. but they don't train them as good as theirs. Mm -hmm. We don't own any industries. Mm -hmm. We don't want on the airlines. Mm -hmm. We don't want on the shipping lines. Eating on the airlines is a black time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a recent development. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, it's a scheme of things. Yeah. It's a scheme of things. Black hair care. We're getting there. We still, 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 we the powers that be, they own the arms, yes. they own the money, yes. they have the power. Mm -hmm. So it, it seems to me that we're going to have to just be losing lives and sacrifices before we get anywhere. Mm -hmm. And I think black people lose enough. We kill, we kill each other enough. Mm -hmm. To be losing more lives. Yes. Well, I, I'll, I'll come back to what you just said at the, at the end so we can wrap up on, on some forward uh, future, future projection. I do want to come to another song before we get there. Um, because, and I'm going to read the lyrics because I, f I think these are very pertinent lyrics. I'm, I was listening to them in my Air Force on the way, on the way down. Um, and it's, it's, it's a song called You Don't Know. Okay. Blessings on blessings, I am open to receiving them. Raising my vibration, attracting all the good things. On this frequency of divine intervention. Although I don't always see, I can feel them know your power. We are all divine. This is Tasha and Makeda, bigging up Got Kush TV, the UK's number one online conscious platform. Blessed love. Hey yo, it's Swiss. My name is JJ Bola. This is Shakara. Hi sister. My name is Empress Manny. What's up? It's the world changer Michele Mean. You're locked onto Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush TV, the conscious platform for all conscious people. Stay tuned. There was, there was, there was, there was empires in Africa called Kush Timbuktu where every race came to get books My success to you, even if you wish me the opposite Sooner or later we'll all see who the prophet is